today we're going to make Olama speak. So today we're going to go through and add some speech software to Olama. And just to give an example of what we can do, we're going to add some text to speech software in Olama. And we're going to do this through a Python program. And we'll wrap calling Olama in that program. Okay, great. Let's uh, let's see how this works. First of all, we're going to go through and create a new project. I'm creating a new folder called Speak LLM. I'm going to move into my Speak LLM. And here we're going to go through and set up a virtual environment. And then we will activate this. Okay, so the next step is to install some of the components we need. We're going to be using the 11 labs library. So let's go ahead and install that package. And let's take a first step of creating an application. I will create a app.py file. And then we'll use Visual Studio to edit this file. OK, so here's our Visual Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is import our 11 labs library. And we have a couple different uh, library packages that we can use. But to start with, let's just call the audio. We can play the audio that we create. Create. We're going to say client generate. Hello world. I'm going to use the voice of Rachel. And then I'm going to play it. So let's see how this works. I'm going to go Python 3 app.py. I need to load our client in here. So add that. And that's going to need an API key. So if we run this here now. Hello world. It's going to use the API key, which I have set up in my environment variables. So I've already gone through and set up the 11 underscore API underscore key in my environment here. OK, so now that we have that and we can actually play that, that's an interesting sound, but it sounds a little generic. We can set up a nicer way to, to do this, and we can do that through the audio stream. So let's try the audio stream and let's see if we can tell the difference on that. And then I need to bring in the stream import and let's see if we can run that hello world much nicer so i think this is a more professional sounding so this is what i'll be using going forward so what we want to do is connect this up and we want to make a call into olama so to do that i'm going to use the lang chain with olama so let's go through and let's import that and I need to import the LangChain library. So I need to pip install LangChain. So let's just make sure that we can run this. Hello world. That verifies our imports. And let's call a very simple function with LangChain. And I'm just going to create the reference to the LLM. And I'm going to call that cached LLM. I'm going to use Llama 3. And then I'm simply going to invoke that. So I'm going to ask it, what day comes after Monday? And that should be pretty simple. Based on this, I want to print that out. I will print the response. And let's see how that works. 
Okay, I came back with Tuesday. So let's add some sound to this. Wouldn't it be nice if we could actually hear the response? So I'm going to actually say the words in the response. And it would also be nice to know what I asked. So we're going to call this here now a query. All right. And we're not just going to say the query. We're going to say you asked and then the query. OK, well, let's see how this works. You asked, what day comes after Monday? Tuesday comes after Monday. There we go. So this is a pretty nice sounding system end to end. And it would be great if we could wrap this into an API. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to install Flask. Pip install Flask. Now that we have that installed, we can go through and start setting up our Flask application. And we need to actually start our Flask server. And I'm going to listen on port 80. So what we're doing here is in the Dunder name, if it's main, we're going to call start app. In the start app, we're simply going to run our Flask server. And it's listening on port 8080. Great. Now we need to have some APIs. So let's go through and let's create a base API. And this base API, I'm going to call it LLM, annotate a route, or slash LLM. And in there, I want to simply print out that the LLM has been called. And then let's get the JSON content because this we made this a post. And now instead of setting the query as a hard constant here, let's actually get the query from the post. OK, so now we're getting the query. And now we can take the next step and we can say you ask whatever the query was, we can process the query, we can print the response, we can say the audio stream for the response saying it, and then of course we can set the response answer and return it in the API. Okay, so now we need to use some mechanism to actually test this, and I'm going to use I'm going to use Postman for that. So let's set up a Postman to the endpoint of localhost colon 8080 slash LLM. And let's see how this, this works. All right, here's our Postman. And we're calling post localhost 8080 raw JSON. And the query and it's going to be what day comes after Monday. Okay, we need to start our Flask application. Here we go. And now let's run it. You asked, what day comes after Monday? The day that comes after Monday is Tuesday. All right, so this looks good. Let's say what day comes after Tuesday. You asked, what day comes after Tuesday? Wednesday. There we go. So now we have a talking LLM. Now, right now, we're talking to this locally. But if I wanted to talk to a remote LLM, for example, I have another video that shows how to set up Olama on a server, specifically on AWS, I can connect to that Olama instance externally. And there's a, sorry, base URL. And then we set this to our server. So in this case, HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 
three, four. Now let's see if this works. So let's start this again. Let's make this call. You asked what day comes after Tuesday. There we go. So now we're actually Wednesday. actually making a call to a remote server. Great. I hope this answers a lot of questions and shows you how you can set up a simple API. If we wanted to get a little fancy with this, we could actually put this in a thread called the LLM real time so there's no delay and make it a little bit more efficient. But for now, this is functional and this will do everything. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, some of the questions I'm asked a lot is how do you connect to a remote LLM? So this is how you do that using Olama. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please take a look at my other videos. Like and subscribe. Thank you.